She said that, while working for Weinstein, she experienced nearly constant UAL harassment. From my very first time left alone with Harvey, I had to deal with him being present either in his underpants or totally naked, she said. We had to bring girls to him. Though I wasn't aware of it at first, I was a honeypot. She said Weinstein never succeeded in pressuring her into or any physical contact, but she called the barrage of advances exhausting. She resigned after the second assistant Thierry told her of being assaulted by Weinstein. Weinstein's lawyers, Blair Burke and Ben Braffman, said in a statement, because of the pending civil litigation and related investigations, it is inappropriate to respond specifically to each of the unsupported and untruthful insinuations contained in this article. Suffice it to say, Mr. Weinstein strongly objects to any suggestion that his conduct at any time has ever been contrary to law. Be assured that we will respond in any appropriate legal forum, where necessary, and why expect that Mr. Weinstein will prevail against any claim of legal wrongdoing. Mr. Weinstein categorically denies ever engaging in any non-consensual UAL conduct with anyone and any suggestion that he acted them properly to defend himself against such claims is simply wrong.